In this video, we will learn how to install WordPress using WordPress version 3.9. Make sure to subscribe to Hello2WP for up-to-date video tutorials using WordPress. For the purpose of this install, we're going to be using cPanel. You will find your installation easier if you utilize multiple tabs in your web browser. The first thing you want to do is head over to wordpress.org and download the latest version. Head back over to your control panel and start by uploading the downloaded zip to the file manager. In control panel, click on the file manager and navigate to the folder where you want to upload the WordPress file. In most cases, the public underscore HTML folder is where you'll want to stick WordPress. If you want WordPress in a subdomain, go ahead and create a folder and navigate there. Click on the upload button and either click choose file or drag it over from your computer. As soon as you select the file, the control panel will automatically upload it for you. You will see a notification in the bottom right of your web browser when it's complete. Go ahead and click back to your directory. Click on the zip file and select extract. Extract the files and click the close button. Click the reload button and you'll see the extracted WordPress folder. Double-click that and navigate to all of the WordPress files. Click on Select All and then the Move File button. Delete the WordPress and forward slash from the dialog box and click Move Files. Now click on the Up One Level button and you will see all of the extracted WordPress files. You may want to delete the uploaded zip and the now empty WordPress folder from your file manager. Next, Click on wp-config-sample and click on the rename button. Delete the dash sample from the file name so that it reads wp-config.php and click the rename file. Now with the file still selected, click on the code editor and click edit. From here, we're going to need to create a database and user in cPanel. Going back over to the cPanel tab, click on MySQL Databases and type in the name of your WordPress database and click Create Database. Go ahead and copy the database name and paste it into the portion of your wp-config file in between the single quotes which read database name here. Go back to the cPanel tab and click Go Back. Now you need to create a new user. It's recommended you generate a secure password. Before you hit use password, copy the password and paste it into your wp-config file in between the single quotes which read password here. Going back to the cPanel tab, click on use password and click on create user. Copy the username you selected and paste that into the wp-config file in between the single quotes which read username here. Now we need to add the new user you created into the database you just created. Select the user under Add User to Database and select the correct database and click the Add button. Select All Privileges and click Make Changes. Now. Go back to the wp-config file and you're going to generate the secret key. Copy the URL provided in your configuration file under the database options and you'll see a key is automatically generated every time you load the page. Select the keys and copy. Paste them into the config file replacing the default secret key. If you'd like, you can also change your WordPress database prefix, which is a good security practice. From here, click on Save Changes. Now you're ready for the final step of installing WordPress. In a new tab, go to your URL. When you see this screen, you will know you have completed the database and wp-config file set up correctly. If you don't see this page, go back and check over your steps. Type in your site title, the username, your password, and your email.
and click on Install WordPress. Now WordPress is installed. You may go ahead and log in and begin using your new WordPress site. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Check out the channel for more videos using WordPress. If you have a request for a video tutorial for WordPress usage, plugins, or themes, please leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to Hello to WP.